My beloved love, we don't come here with the tools, you know, a lot of divine beings, a lot of highly spiritual people, go through some of the most toughest backgrounds, go through some of the most trauma, and they show up healed, they show up whole, because of making an intentional choice about showing up that way. So, I'm definitely feeling like your person is telling you this message. You were their first teacher. You were the first person who provided them with evidence that love is real. Okay, let's get the next message here. Wow, we have you were my first teacher. You provided them with the evidence that everything that they were feeling on the inside of them, they could actually have it in their external world here. It's not just a fantasy. It's not just them reaching for the stars. They believe that love is real because they came in contact with you. I'm definitely getting a compare and contrast energy where it's like your person really settled for something because they were not aware of who they were. Okay, and a lot of times when you go out into the world not knowing who you are, everything that you come into alignment with will affirm you, and you will literally be stuck in a pattern where everything around you will be a reflection of everything that you are not. And then it's like your person met you. I'm getting perfect stranger. Wow. So it's almost as if you crossed paths with your person. You ignited this. It's like an activation. I'm getting there was like a total activation. So I'm picking up that divine feminine. You definitely may have been in this karmic cycle as well. And this could be with a past lover. This could be family. This could be something. I'm getting that you two actually activated one another upon meeting each other, so much so that your lives have been forever changed. I'm getting that you didn't even know that this type of love existed until you came in contact with your person, and I'm talking about unconditional love. I'm talking about no matter where you are on this planet, no matter how life turns out for me or for you it is. It is my, you know, I just want you to be happy. It is my hope that you are happy. It is my hope that you are safe, that you are blessed, that you are abundant. That type of love, not this love over here, this I refuse to let you go, I refuse to let you grow beyond me. You're telling me that you're unhappy, you're telling me that this doesn't align with what it is that you want for your life and I just want you to stay here to appease my feelings and to make me feel okay. Not that type of love, that's very restrictive, okay, that's very compressed. This love right here is just expansive. I'm definitely getting that there was a major activation upon coming in contact with your person, and they want you to know that you were their first teacher. A lot of them equated love to control, if I love you, I can tell you this, you have to do this, you have to act this way. From Divine Muscular Type yes, if you believe. My beloved love, a lot of them have even projected this energy onto you, and when things didn't go their way, they either ran. Okay, this caused some type of big blow up here, but your person is learning that love is freedom. Love is being able to completely navigate your journey and go through what it is that God wants you to go through, parallel to another being, parallel to another divine soul, to your divine counterpart, and making the conscious decision that no matter where life takes you, and no matter where life takes me, I am going to love you regardless. I am going to give you well wishes, I am going to pour into you, I want you to be happy. Okay. Your person is learning that love is not restrictive. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. Okay. And coming in contact with you has activated this within your person. You made this very real for them. I'm getting a lot of them didn't even realize that this was a real thing. And because they came in contact with you, it's almost as if you have opened their world up to something totally different. I'm also getting that. 
I just got version. I'm getting that you get a totally different version of your person than anyone else has ever experienced because every other connection has been riddled with restriction, repression, control, fear, all of these lower vibrational energies. And with you, it's almost as if you have become that safe space. You've given a new definition to love, to light, to spirituality. Because a lot of times it's... It's so crazy. A lot of people can equate love and spirituality and all of these beautiful vibrational things to restriction. You know, it's... It's really crazy, but yeah, your person is showing up saying, you were my first teacher, you were the first person who provided me with tangible evidence that I can actually have this life, that I can actually be abundant, be in love. Okay, and be in a love that is freeing, a love that is illuminating, a love that is expansive, not restrictive. Very beautiful energy here. I just feel the energy changing. Okay, so I'm definitely getting that you definitely change the course of your person's life. They're very appreciative to you for this. Okay, let's get the next message. Wow, we have I'm not the bad guy here. Yeah, so I'm definitely getting that your person made a lot of choices that were not a direct reflection of what it is, that they were feeling on the inside here, and they want you to know that. I'm definitely getting that your person wants you to know them on a deeper level. It's like they really want you to know their journey and what it is that they've been through and how they got to this point. Um, because maybe you're viewing them through a lens of... Through a lens that's very surface. Maybe you don't know what it 